بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم الأمين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. Dear respected brothers, viewers, and listeners, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. As you may all well be aware and know that currently we as a Muslim youth growing up in the 21st century in the UK are living in difficult times. Uh, to protect our Iman, to protect our Islam, to protect our families, to protect everything that is around us that is valuable to us. And the most valuable thing to us is Iman. And sadly, today many Muslim youth do not value Iman, do not appreciate Iman. And one of the aspects of maintaining a strong Iman is the company that you keep. The Prophet most beautifully uh, declared when they said الرَّجُلُ عَلَى دِينِ خَلِيلِهِ فَلْيَنْزُرْ أَحَدُهُ مَنْ يُخَالِهِ وَكُمَا قَالَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ That a man, a rajulu ala dini khalili, a man is on the religion of his friend. فَلْيَنْزُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالِهِ Then be careful and uh, be particular in the friends that we keep. Now today, the friends that we keep here, uh, dinihi meaning the society, the boys, the gangs that we hang around, and today suddenly the lads are interested and are more uh, comfortable hanging around with the bad boys, those who wear the flashy gear, those who have the nicest cars, those who've got good looking girlfriends, those who have money, those who have attention, those who have glamour. People are attracted towards this. Why? One of the reasons being is because we're brought up in a society which gives attention to such things such as glamour and, and, and fame and glory. That's what we are brought up in. And we as young Muslim youth growing up, we see this, we see the, the pop stars, we see the footballers, we see the glamour, the, the Bentleys, we see the, the Rolls Royces, we see the Bugattis and we think, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's what I want. And to achieve and to get that, you will sacrifice everything. You will sacrifice your Iman to get that fame and glory, the respect on the street. And that's what we don't want. We want respect in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most honored in the sight of Allah Almighty is the one who fears Him the most. Those young Muslim practicing youth, who keep in mind that on the day of Qiyamah, one of the things that Allah Almighty is going to ask me and you is, what did you do with your youth? How did you spend your youth? Who did you used to hang around with? How did you earn your money? Today, these are things we don't care as long as we get rich or dry, die trying. That's the mentality and philosophy. Get rich or die trying. If that means you, you have to sell drugs, if that means you have to get into the, the, the money laundering game, fraud, insurance fraud, car fraud, and all these problems, it doesn't matter, I've got to get rich. That's what matters. So this mentality, so one of the reasons is because of the crowds that we have around. This is how this mentality has come about. The boys are doing it, I've got to do it. If I don't do it, I ain't going to look cool. Yeah, the guy's got to look at me, he's got to think I'm good. These are the things that come across our minds. I've been living with them all my life. This is all I've had. So we need to get out of this habit. And we need to think that I need to see what pleases Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And to get and to achieve that, you hang around and you spend time with good people, people who are practicing, people who are, people who have God fearing, people who have piety inside them. These individuals, when you hang around with them, the color and the effect of they, their sohbah and their Islam will rub off onto you, and eventually you will become a better person. I'll give you one small example. There's a lad who reads his namaz but hangs around with drug dealers. He's in a car. And the four of them are licking a zoot, but he's a Muslim lad. He's a religious lad, he reads five times a month. When anyone will look at that car and they will see the windows are tinted out, there's smoke coming out from there, there's brothers in the back licking a zoot, and this Muslim Molby type person is sat in the car in the front. What are they going to think? They're going to think he's one of them. But at the same time, if you look on the street corner or you look in the masjid, there's a bad boy lad, he's got zigzag in his head, he's got, and he's, he's wearing normal type clothing, and he comes into the masjid. And he sees him sitting with the ulama, he's sitting with the Maul Maulanas, sitting with the religious people. Take a set, mashallah, he's a religious prophet as well. That's what good company does. It gives you a good name. It gives you honor and respect. Bad company gives you a bad name, bad honor, bad respect. And that bad honor, bad respect will only be here. Because on the day of Qiyamah, al akhillahu yawma izin ba'duhum li ba'din adu. Allah Almighty in the Quran said, on the day of Qiyamah, best friends will be enemies to one another. On that day, Man will be called behind his Imam, the person he took as his leader, the one who took he took as his role model. Who is your role, or role model? Who do you look up to? Who do you want to be like? Is it Tupac? Is it Biggie? Is it Scarface? Al Capone? 
Is it these gangsters, the, the Floyd Mayweather, the Manny Pacquiao? Is it the David Beckhams, the, the Lionel Messi's, the Cristiano Ronaldo? Is it these people? Oh, are they Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar bin al-Khattab, Sayyidina Uthman al Nurain, Sayyidina Ali Shari Khuda, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Khwaja Mu'inuddin Jishti Rajmeri. Are these the people that you look up to? Bishan ibn Haris al-Hafi, the good role models, those who left an everlasting legacy from their time to the time that they lived. Who do you want to be like? How do you want to be? These are questions you need to ask yourself. One of the biggest advice my mother, my father, my teachers have given me is Asim, the company that you choose is what's going to define you. Hang around with the right people and you will get very far in life. Hang around with the wrong people and nobody's going to be there for you. And today, Alhamdulillah, Allah Almighty has given us tawfiq to be in the company of the ulama, to be with these people. And I'm telling you, young brothers and sisters, there's, there's entertainment, there's good stuff here. There's happiness here. People feel at sukoon here. When you're out there on the street and you live the dog's life, you live a life chasing after the dunya women. There is no respect. It's today it's here, tomorrow you're nobody. But when you're a man of Allah, today you're here, tomorrow you're actually everything. Because on the day of Qiyamah, everything will be shown to mankind. And on that day, these people will be sitting on pulpits of Nur. Do you want to be with these people? Or do you want to be with Fir'aun and Abu Jahl? I leave this question to you. May Allah Almighty give us tawfiq to decide the company that we keep. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله ولكم وأقطعوانا على الحمد لله.